Have you ever wanted your quest to do this? Or maybe this? Well, okay, maybe not that other one, but there's a ton of features that are completely hidden away from you that you could be using on your quest and quest 2 right now. Hey guys, how are you all doing? I'm Mystical and today I'm going to be showing you the hidden settings that are completely locked away from you on your quest device that you can actually access. So as usual, in case you guys like this one, slap that little red button down below and let's get right into it. Okay, so I do think that at the beginning of this, we have to ask the question, why are they hidden? Why do we not have access to these settings? Well, I feel like the answer to that is really, really simple. Changing some of these settings can be damaging to your device. And by that, I mean, well, you can get a little scared because they tend to reset themselves if they break something. Now, that isn't to say that this is like the side quest settings. These settings actually do not shut themselves down after a restart. They seem to stay. So anything you change here is permanent. Well, that is until you turn it off. There are apps that make this easier and there are apps that make this more difficult. And today I'm going to be showing you both of those. So, you know, if you feel uncomfortable doing any of these things, I would say just don't. Either way, it's really cool to take a look at them and see what settings were missing in the device. So I feel like first I'm going to tell you about the most basic settings app for the Quest. And no, it's not the one that you have access to on a daily basis. The Quest 2 is running Android, so believe it or not, you can actually access the settings app for Android on the Quest. You could do this in two different ways. You can either sideload an activity launcher, which will allow you to launch the settings activity on the Quest and bring up the already installed settings app on the Quest since it does exist, or you can sideload the Quest 2 settings APK, which you can find in a video down below. Either way, this is literally just going to give you access to the official Android settings app on the Quest, giving you access to a bunch of different really cool features that you don't have access to on a daily basis. Account management, hotspot creation in case you want to do that for whatever reason you know one cool thing that I haven't tried yet is creating a hotspot on the quest connecting my PC to it through Wi-Fi and seeing how virtual desktop performs that way that is something that I do want to try in the near future there used to be some really funky features like color inversion that actually worked here and brightness settings which actually might still work I haven't tried them but overall you get the full deal here the full Android settings app you know but that's not kind of the main star of the show, as I feel like a lot of people already know about this. In fact, you used to be able to launch this through SideQuest Activity Launcher, but it just doesn't seem to work that way anymore. So again, you kind of either need to sideload the app or sideload an Activity Launcher that you can launch through directly inside the Quest. What you might not know about is that there's actually deeper settings that you can access. Settings that require a special permission for you to grant to those apps that are going to modify those settings from your PC or from your phone using an A to B command. And these are much deeper settings, as I've mentioned before, something that I guess you could call developer settings. If you guys have played around with the settings app on the Quest before, you probably already know that you can't actually launch developer options through those settings. But you actually can. Well, not through those settings, but through other methods. And this is where we go deeper. I have two apps on my quest here. These two apps, of course, you can sideload to the quest using side quest or ADB. But remember, you do have to give them the necessary permissions, which are on their respectable Play Store pages. So after you sideload the app and give them those permissions running the commands through either custom command on side quest or ADB, you are able to fully control your quest with these apps. Now, I will not link you directly to these apps, but it's as simple as basically searching up the name and type typing an APK at the end. Use a respectable website like APK Pure and you should be just fine. Now, this comes along with a bunch of really weird, funky things, but also some really handy things. Like for example, turning on the charging sound, which is off on the quest by default. And that's really annoying, if you ask me. That is something that I've actually turned on and left on permanently, as sometimes I'll connect one end of the cable to my quest and forget to connect the other end. And all of a sudden, oof, it's not charging. Wow, what a big surprise. Of of course, you get access to much larger font sizes as you've seen before. You can customize this to whatever you like. Now there is a limit, but once you reach it, it will let you know. I got a little bit concerned after a while after the text stopped fitting, but in case you need that for accessibility reasons, it's there. Now, what I find really cool is the fact that you can actually change the charging sounds and change any other sound using these settings. You just have to kind of 
have the know-how on how to do it. I'm actually not going to show you how to do that in this video, simply because I am not a trained professional and I don't want anyone bricking anything. So if you want to turn on your charging sound, it's a simple yes or no change. But if you want to mess around with adding more charging sounds, that gets a little bit more complicated as you have to give the quest the necessary kind of direction to where the charging sound is through a path. And of course, that gets a little bit more complicated. Now, the thing going over me in the background right now is actually, believe it or not, the code-based version of this, or what I'm going to call the code-based version of this, where you have a lot more settings to play around with and a lot more customization that you can do. Of course, changing things here that shouldn't be changed can result in, I would guess, a brick. I don't know. I haven't bricked it yet, and I've done some really stupid things in here, but be careful. If you want to be more careful, I recommend the other app, which is GUI-based, which, of course, requires no code, requires no keyboard typing, no nothing weird. It's a simple matter of turn this on, turn this off. And of course, it's a lot safer. It's a lot better for you guys out there that don't feel comfortable coding anything. And here you can also turn on the charging sound. Just it's a simple tap, yes or no. You can turn on the hotspot. You can turn on a bunch of different things. This app, of course, is just much, much safer. Now, you might be asking yourself, why would Meta not want us to use these? Why, apart from, of course, us breaking our own devices, why would they not want us to do this? Well, that is because I think I found something very interesting in these settings. Now, I myself will not find a use case for this because I am not smart enough. But for any developers out there, you can actually turn on ADB over Wi-Fi using these settings directly inside the quest. No need for a PC. And it does work. You get the full quest dialogue and everything. It's just a matter of finding the port that it's actually using that ADB on, which I haven't managed to do yet. I sent this over to Basti a while back and they told me that they thought that this hasn't been added to like another version of Android. But it seems that the setting is there and it is working. The full dialogue shows up on the quest and everything. So, you know, use it if you find a use case for it. If you don't, well, then don't. <laughs> but either way, I mean, that's it, guys. There's a lot, again, a lot of things that we have not yet fully unlocked on the quest, and we are just breaching the possibilities that we can have here. And of course, this is more customizability than anything. But if someone finds a use case for that ADB over Wi-Fi enabled directly on the quest, it could give us access to essentially running ADB commands directly on the quest, meaning we'd be able to change resolution and things like that without a PC or phone whatsoever, which is, of course, really, really cool. But other than that, it's mostly customization, mostly fun, mostly adding a little bit of yourself to your Oculus Quest device. Well, meta Quest device now. So in case you're one of those people that likes tinkering with your devices, likes changing things, likes adding a little bit of personality, a little bit of yourself, I hope this video could help you out. I hope that you managed to find something really cool. Please Please do let me know all the really cool things that you have found down in the description below. Do let me know if you found something else, something completely different, something completely unrelated to this video that you would want to share with the world, something that would allow us to play around with our devices a little bit more. I love hearing about it in the comments. I'm certain that other people have found things that are probably much cooler than this. So in case you want to share them, do let me know down below. But other than that, thank you all so much for watching this video. I hope you'll have a fantastic day or night. I hope I could help some of you out. I hope that you at least found this interesting. And yeah, that's going to be it. I'm Mystical. Thank you so much to the Patreons supporting this channel. You guys help me out a ton, paying my bills, paying my subscriptions here and there, and overall making these videos better. If you guys are not yet part of our community, check out our Discord down below. Check out our Reddit, where I want to see you posting your spice memes. If you have any issues or want any help, check out our Discord as well. Of course, we are always willing to help on there. If you want to support the channel in any way, shape, or form, check out our sick mugs down below that boost your FPS by 300% and merch that does not put a jet in body. Note, the mugs do not actually boost your FPS by 300%. If you think that, then I am very sorry. That disclaimer needs to be there. <laughs> As usual, in case you guys want to be notified about future content coming up on the channel, make sure to smack the subscribe button with your forehead, ding my bell, and see you again in the next video. Dog's getting excited. Peace.